guys if you are triggered by this live uh please do uh there's a big x button i always say this every time please do leave do not come to me do not watch and then decide that you're triggered <laughs> okay leave the box we'll have no trauma dumping that's a galaxy you can actually ding people from the box that's a uh money gun yes we'll have all the cash yes indeed Guys, we will be wait we are waiting on Luke. He will be jumping in the box to give his side of the story. Um once he has given that, I will um let Ch uh, Chester get in the box to have his reply. Oh my god, I'm hot. All right, uh Luke, are you here? Do you want to request the box? I will be turning the comments off, guys, and it will be Luke only. Can we turn the comments off, guys? Comments off, please. Thank you. Hey, Luke. Can you hear me? Yeah. Just first of all, I want to thank everybody that's reached out to me. Um, that's why I've come back online to explain to the people that support me um, what's gone on, what happened, and what led up to this. And then I'm going to address uh, Chester. I think that's the way. Can everyone hear him? I've got the comments off. So if if can I get a WhatsApp if if we can't hear please Luke? Please don't, please don't please don't gift me. Please don't gift me, Angie. I don't want gifts. Oh, I can't help that, guys. I can't help that. So let let's start right. So um, I met this lad on TikTok who was sat on his live one night. He was in tears. wasn't happy because he had um, nine people in his box. Went in there, threw him a few gifts, you know, had a chat with him, added him on Snapchat, you know, begged me to help him with his platform, begged me, begged, begged me, begged me. Fast forward a little bit on the whole Zach and misread incident happened. Um, who was right, who was wrong, who knows. And um, I begged Alex not to go online. I said, don't, I said, don't be anywhere near me. Don't be anywhere near misread. I said, stay away from it. He refused to do that. He went online. From that day forward, he built his platform. So friends, like I said, helped each other in battles. Friends talked off the app. This is somebody, Angie, that I spoke off the app every single day. Um, he knew that I'd had a breakup because of TikTok. And I know he's waiting to out that. So I'll out myself right now, Angie. In January, somebody left me because, um, because I was spending too much time on TikTok morning and night so that was the breakup of the person that i loved and they haven't spoke to me again he's waiting to out this by the way so there you go prince brat i've outed it myself i chose tiktok over my relationship which is the biggest regret of my fucking life okay so lonely down whatever he knows about my mental health that's why i'm disgusted with him and chester you know about my mental health you know they're the two people and miss red that know what i've got wrong with me am i perfect no am i a bitch yeah do I bitch about people? I, I, I can vouch for that. Yeah, I am. I'm not sitting here and ignoring the fact that I am a fucking bitch online. Um, and I do bitch. But so I started getting messages about Alex and I started to step back from his live because um, he was asking for gifts some more. So we rang up and had a conversation. I said, Alex, just be careful about you know keep the gifting goal and keep because it's at the time karma kaz was out in everybody for gift for gifting manipulation so i asked alex to stop I said, alex, if you don't know alex guys that's prince uh sorry, Brett. sorry i asked prince brat to stop with the gifting so if that is a form of manipulation saying to him stop begging for gifts then i'm guilty right so we fast forward um I got sent some screenshots, which I'm going to screen. I'm going to I'm going to play a screen recording for you after this. I want you to hear what they were on about. Fast forward to the 9th of July, Canadian Angie. I had I had spoke to Canadian Angie through Corey, and asked Corey if he would back off Prince Brat because it was affecting the boyfriends and Prince Brat's mental health badly. I had these two on the phone crying saying they were going to do stupid things regularly. Canadian Angie reached back out and said, yep, yeah, she'll, she'll, she'll bury it all and uh, we'll go forward like that. So brilliant. Corey and Alex, uh, Prince Brat were okay, sorted that out. Canadian Angie and Prince Brat were now okay, sorted that out. But then two accounts were made 
Um, I've got them written down. A handsome pigeon and cowboy's teeth were made. And Canadian Angie was accused of doing the accounts, okay? She was accused of it, Canadian Angie. I stood back a bit and said, I don't believe it's her. Well, fuck me. I was turned on. I was turned on. Screamed, shouted, how could you support her? We've been friends. I've told you about things you've told me about. Which, Angie, I will not. And I just want to make it clear to everybody in this live. I will not be showing WhatsApp messages. I will not be showing screenshots publicly. I have done two reports this morning on Prince Brat and Chester. I have done two report, filed two reports on them this morning with evidence they showed WhatsApp messages. Not allowed. Anyway, so fast forward, I stood there on my live and I said, I don't believe it was Canadian Angie behind the Cowboys Teeth account. Didn't believe it. Well, fuck me, rung me, going nuts. It is her, you're standing by her. So on the 9th of July, she gifted me. And I said, thank you, Canadian Angie. Thank you. Um, well, fuck me, fired up a live after my live. I'm a manipulator. I've told him what to say. Blah, blah, blah. I've done all this. I've done all that. And uh, I was shocked. So we jumped on a phone call afterwards. And uh, I want to, because I know he's watching, I want to remind you, Prince, about what you said on the 9th of July when I asked you two questions. I want to see if he denies this. Have anybody ever manipulated you and told you what to say? No. Answer, no. I am a no, but I think things get brushed over. What do you mean? Zach and EQ. Yes. I asked you to stop speaking about Zach and EQ for an easy life. An easy life, because Prince Brat believed that the only time he had numbers in his room was when he was talking about EQ and Zach the Brat. If he wasn't talking about EQ and Zach the Brat, then his numbers would go down to 100 people. Okay, so I'd asked him to stop speaking about them. So that night on the phone, he said that nobody had, um, nobody had, I've got to remember this, nobody had, um, Angie happy to show you the proof as well. Um, he said that nobody had told him what to say or what to do because it wouldn't be his show. Now I started to take a pull back from Prince Bat after this. I thought, fucking hell. He's just gone online and outed me because of Canadian Angie, because I allow Canadian Angie in my room. So anyway, everything was apologised, everything was said, everything was fine. So I didn't, so he feels I didn't support him enough with Miss Faye, would ring me up and beg me to talk about Miss Faye on live, send me screen recordings of Miss Faye. I wouldn't talk about Miss Faye and their argument. He'd go against me. Yeah? Now... If I wouldn't show Zach be talking about cowboy, I can't remember the word Zach used, something to like, can't remember if it was groomer or I don't know what Zach said, right? I can't remember. But if I wouldn't show that online, or I wouldn't show EQ online talking uh, about. Can I stop you for a second? Someone said you're a little bit muffled. Are you filling your belt or something? Sorry, is that better? Yeah, okay. Is that, is that no. better, guys? Just message me if it's not. Carry on. Yeah, I've picked it up. So if I wouldn't play. If I wouldn't play EQ talking about Cowboy or if I wouldn't play um, Zach talking about Cowboy and stick up for the pair of them, bearing in mind, I was always on the phone to them every night when their mental health were bad, when they were saying stupid things. And I mean stupid things over losing a battle over FYP. Let's get it out there. Cowboy did want it wants Prince to stop doing FYP. I said to Prince, you should never be told what to do. But then when Cowboy explained to me on the phone about why their relationship was going downhill, I said to Cowboy, no TikTok's worth no relationship. Can I just quickly do a photo, um, just to, uh, put my comments on really quickly, because um, someone is still saying it's really muffled, like you got your hands over your phone. Can I just ask the comments really quickly, Luke? Guys, can you hear? Is, that, is it okay? People are saying it's kind of muffled. Am I back? Have you heard everything that's been said so far, though? People are saying it's quite muffled. Do you, I don't know if you want to... Is it fine or what? Am I back? Am I back? Is that better, guys? Yes, yes. People are saying it's muffled or sounds... But can you hear the conversation? 
Some people saying yes, some people saying no. I don't, I don't know what to do, Angie, because you know, you know, I've got, I've, I've literally need to get through this, Angie, because I've literally got, got headphones two on. No, I haven't got anything. It's really muffled and not clear. I don't know what to do, guys. Have you heard everything so far, though? I mean, it might be muffled, but can you still hear? We can hear. Okay, can hear. It's fine. Okay, carry on. It's All fine. Right, okay. So let let let's skip forward to the incident with one of his mods where we had the fallout and I'll, I, i'm not going to mention any names because it's not fair on this mod so alex had a mod this is when the fallout started so alex had a mod that had gifted um one of his other mods quite substantially and it me and alex classed it as gay baiting what the mod had done so the guy had rung alex and said to alex you know a worker normal job i'm giving this guy all my money you know i like him i'm giving him all my money so i spoke to the guy and i said listen you don't have to pay to be a mod come into mine you're a good guy he started gifting me i said if you give me one more thing you're blocked you're blocked if you give me one more thing you're blocked messaged him on snapchat right that night this is the guy that cares about gifting and mental health that night i've gone into prince brats live this mod has dropped Alex 7K. I messaged Alex and I said to Alex, what are you doing? He's just told you that he's got a problem and he's spending all his money on TikTok. What are you doing? And he turned around and said, no, it's under control. It's fine. I've spoke to him. I said, he's told you he's got no money and he's gifting you, Alex. What are you doing? That was the first. The, I just want to give people context to me texting him and having a go at him because I did text him and have a go at him. I said, that's absolutely wrong. He's told you he's doing all his money every week on one of your other mods that goes live and you are sitting there taking money off him. Brushed past, was forgotten. So, let's go back to what happened the other day when he went live and said about the manipulation. Because I speak to his mum offline because she's, she's a lovely woman. She's quite lonely. She's lovely. So the other day, something happened in Miss Red's live something happened and um dave jumped in you jumped in something about new zealand with you angie and because i didn't defend him this is where it's all coming from because i didn't defend him against you i'm fake as fuck i didn't defend him against angie i should have booted angie out the box bearing in mind this is the guy that has said to me and th this is how we move on to chester i shouldn't have nothing to do with miss red because she never stuck up with me over zach shouldn't be part of Gracie's agency because she supports a racist and someone that's homophobic and whatever. I shouldn't part. This guy, everybody that he makes a problem with, I have to block. Or if I don't stick up for him, he goes on a rant and goes... Can I also just say, Luke, I can vouch for that because for some reason, um, Prince Brett came for me and I don't know why. We had an argument and all of a sudden he was saying it's because you didn't defend him. And then because he was because, and, but Angie, I've had this for a year. I've had this for a year. If I don't defend him, if I don't play something, I didn't want to play the Miss Faye stuff. I didn't want to play. He begged me not to play when he was transphobic to Miss Faye. I said, we're friends offline. I'm not going to play it. He begged me. I've had it all. If someone comes in his box and says something about him, mute, block, he blocked him in my life. Do you know what? I'm sad this has happened because I lost two friends. But I'm not sad because I have to, don't have to put up with what I was going through. And you can believe me, not believe me. I don't give a shit. But let me play you something that was sent to me not so long ago. Let me play you something. This was sent to me. This is using mental health as manipulation. Luke, I'll, I'll be five minutes. Tell him I'll be out in five minutes. Okay. This, is, um, this is the manipulation of somebody for, gift, for gifts. I know why Prince Brat's done this. And I know why Chester's done this. Yeah. I'll move on to Chester in a second. But let me listen, because I don't give a fuck anymore. This was sent to me about three weeks ago saying, this is your friend and this is the manipulation levels. Please just listen, guys. And I have not many friends in real life. I'm not going to lie to all of And a part time fitting in with groups and growing up. And my friends and comfort is TikTok. And you guys make my days and nights more than you probably know. And you know, when I try to set people a little bit crazy at times about 
can mess up at times and say the wrong things, but there's one thing about me is that I do truly care about people. And sometimes it's a strength, and sometimes it's a weakness because it I get in the down end on it, but I do really care, and I hope people know that. Please, if you guys can spam that that's great for me, please let me know how to do it. Just thank you for being here. It's been a long full day for me, all health and peace, and I'll let you as. Um, but I guess the only way is up, I guess. Um, can we get to 10k tap? Can we all put a blue and white heart in the chat as well, guys? Hi, Kate, how are you? Can we put a blue and white heart in the chat? Can you all share as well, sir? Sorry, I'm asking for a moment. I'm going to take the new cut off and I'm just going to put the new amazing and the hot shot two gifting goals up there. See if we can get them, it'd be a nice way to end the terrible day. Thank you. Claire, how are you? Thank you for your lovely kindness earlier. Hi Steph. Everyone share the live out please. Thank you so much. Let's try and get some hot shots. I really love them. Let's see how many of those we can get. Hi Sammy. This is a guy that's been on for 20 minutes saying how day how down his day is and says, let's get some of the amazings, let's get some of the gift goals and make a terrible day better. This is who this person is. This is who this person is. Gifts, gold, that's all he cares about. Am I guilty of bitching and moaning about people on the FYP to a friend offline? Absolutely guilty of it. But what I won't have, and I'll move on to Chester now, is what I won't fucking have is people saying that I outed Chester's trauma. Now, I want to take Chester back. I did try and contact Chester this morning because I was asking for the money back that he borrowed two days ago. When he rung me two days ago after Prince Brat thing and said and was crying on the phone and borrowed a hundred quid off me to go to Liverpool and sort his mental health out. Let me let me talk about Chester. Now, Chester, I want to take you back to the 12th of March. I'm not gonna out these. I'm not gonna out these publicly online because it's illegal. Angie, have you heard have I sent you what was said? The uh -huh. voice notes. Yeah. Yes. Now, on the 12th of March, Chester messaged me and asked him why a mod wasn't talking to him anymore. Why is this mod not talking? Can you confirm that's true, Angie? Yeah. And I stated in the voice notes, this is a screen recording sent to Angie. And I said, well, she's not talking to you because you outed on a live in front of 15, 20 people. You outed what somebody did to you. You were drunk and outed it. And Chester's reply was Don't, something along the lines of um, he was drunk. It happened. And he, he did it because he was in the pub with his boyfriend. Is that true or not, Angie? That, that is true, which is which he's entitled to do because it's, you know, he is, you know, the victim in that. But I don't know if you want to start from the beginning as to what happened, you know. I what don't want to talk about Chester's trauma. I don't. No, want no, to not talk about the trauma, but talk as to um, uh, what was what was said in that voice note. He said that he was. He said the reason that he went live, or the reason that he was on a live, is because he was angry and upset with the person because he was in the pub with his boyfriend. And now he's ignoring him. But my point was, Angie, of sending you that was to prove to you that on the tw Chester and I advise you to go back through your messages the 12th of March and listen to the voice recording and then come on and apologise for saying I outed your trauma. You outed your trauma. Basically you what happened, can I just say this yeah. Luke? Yeah, yeah, well, I, I'm only going by what here, what I've heard guys. Listen, and I'm not like best friends with Luke. I'm not, I'm, I like Les, uh, Chester and I like Luke. I'm just saying what I heard, okay, on that that note, voice note, that um, it happened five years ago. I'm not going to talk about his trauma, but it was five years ago. Um, Chester forgave him, yeah. Hadn't spoken to him for a year, but did forgive him. So they were still together, even although that guy has said he's not in a relationship. He's never been in a relationship with Chester. But, you know, they did still speak. Angie, and You know what? Angie, uh, can I, Angie, can I just say that the reason that the mod wasn't talking to Chester at the time was because Chester was in bed three days before that on live. They yeah. were in bed together three days on a live. They were in bed together. And then he goes live three three days later in front on a social media platform and yeah. said he great me. Yeah, yeah. So he's talking about five years ago, guys. The trauma that happened five years ago. Okay, which is fine. You can forgive people. I I hundred percent get that. But then um, I think he uh, what happened is because then this guy blocked him. He, he, he blocked him and wanted nothing to do with him. So then um, Chester went to the pub, got a bit drunk, and decided to go on a rampage and altered. Which I listen. I believe. 
believe Chester what happened to him, okay? Um, went on a rampage and outed and said that he had, you know, well, you know the rest, okay? He went on live, guys, it, where he went public with it. So, and then, like, anyone else would be like, oh, my God, did you watch that live with so-and-so? He, and, um, as a shock factor, as a shock factor, not because I don't believe Luke did it out of malice to, 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 to say it to Alex as to what happened. He was saying, oh, my God, Alex, shock factor. Alex, he went live. Alex would constantly ask me, why I was friends with Chester? Why would I stand by Chester? He's a racist. He's a transphobic. He's a pisshead. I, I just can't believe what I'm hearing from two people that I've supported. And the mistake yeah. was mine. And I'll apologize. I think the bottom line is, though, Luke, is that you didn't out something private. I did because, not. Um, Chester did go live with it. And I did hear I did hear that voice note. And I can confirm he did go live um, about what happened to him, about his trauma. Can I just address a, a comment that Janet made as well yesterday that I was told Janet's his friend. Like I said, I'm not here to, me and Chester have been friends for two years. I've stood by him, financially helped him, offered to put him into rehab, offered to pay for his solicitor when he was arrested for assault six, seven, eight months ago, or weeks ago, I can't remember. I've done everything for him, right? I didn't stand by him on the racism and I explained why I didn't. But Janet saying I've heard the bullying when I've tried to get Chester offline, tried to get him for being extremely transphobic, I get messages, Angie. I get messages from people going, he's online saying that Evil Queen is a paedophile. I get messages, he's online exposing um, Evil Queen for something to do with Danny. I get messages, get him offline. I'm done with it. So if this has to happen to get away from these two people, fucking over the moon i'll never speak to them i'll never speak about them again after this life but people have to understand what's being twisted people have to understand what people are doing for clout yeah they have to understand what's going on i've helped these two, two people we had friendships offline do you know what zach the brat said something very true the other and i will give him fucking credit for him can't stand the bloke but i'll give him credit he said you don't have friends um on tiktok he says you can't trust people and he was a hundred percent fucking right can I ask you a question, yeah. Luke? How did it, how did you feel that day? Because I spoke to Luke yesterday, okay, and you were very about your mental cried. health as to what people were saying on that live. I I haven't cried in front of my dad for about since I was a kid. I'm quite a hard, you know. I, on TikTok, I present, you know, gobby and thingy and everything, but I'm not. And uh, yeah, I, I'm Alex and Chester. They want to sit there and abdicate for mental health when they know what I've gone through. Six months of losing Kelly, losing Rosie, they were there for me. Chester was on the phone to me for two and a half hours, yeah? And they know medically what's wrong with me. I don't reveal it on TikTok. I don't come on TikTok and say, I've got this wrong with me, I've got this wrong with me. But not one of them thought about me. Mm. Not one of them. And I spoke to Chester, uh, sorry, Luke yesterday and he wasn't in a good place. Uh, people were calling him a groomer on that live, a groomer. And Chester's disgusting. It. Chester is fucking disgusting. For allowing no, in, people. in regards to Chester, because I do get on with Chester too, and I do 100% believe what he's gone through. I, I really do. And it's awful, absolutely disgusting what he's gone through. And I hope he's okay. But I do understand, do you know what I mean? Because I'm okay with Chester, do you know what I mean? So please I don't... Tried to, I, tried, I tried to reach out to Chester this morning to see if he was okay, because I know what he does. He goes on a drunken rant, he says things online, then he goes off for a few days. It I know be, Chester. I, suppose, isn't it? I know Chester. But what's yeah. been done here after helping these two is fucking disgusting. And I, I can't believe that Prince Brat, not telling what he said about people, not telling about what he said about his mods that don't work, but you're happy to take their money though, aren't you, Prince Brat? You're happy to slag them off for being on benefits, but you're more than happy to direct them to Cowboys once a month battle. They're lazy, they're this, they're that, they don't work because they're on benefits, but happy to give you and Cowboy hundreds and hundreds of pounds a week. And when that mod, that was... Go on, sorry, Ange. No, I was just going to ask you a question. No, carry on, though, carry on. When that bloke came to, came to Alex, and Alex came and told me, out with his trauma, and came to me and told me that bloke had done all his money on another one of his mods, and he'd been gay-baited, right? That was when I saw them gifts, when Alex was allowing that bloke to still gift him, after saying he'd spent all of his money all of his money on another bloke and he worked a normal job and he had no money and i saw him gifting 
That was when I knew this is all for gifts. This is all for views. This isn't my final thing. He stated to me, I don't give a fuck who believes me and who don't believe me. He stated to me, when I don't talk about Evil Queen and I don't talk about Zach, I ain't got no numbers. I was the one that asked him to stop speaking about them because it was looking weird. Me, stop speaking about Zach. He even said on a call, I do think things get brushed up. I said, you ever been manipulated or told what to play? And he said, no, but I do think a lot gets brushed over. And I said, we don't talk about Zach and Evil Queen because we want an easy life. And there's your truth. I had two friends that turned on me for clout. Two people that I've helped out. Two people I've been there for. I had his mum messaging me on Snapchat, telling me three weeks ago, thank you for being so amazing for Cowboy and Alex and being there for them. Because I'm fucking sick of the ringing me up all hours of the fucking night. Had an argument. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm done. I never have to go through that again. Never have to go through it again. Am I guilty of bitching and moaning about people on, yeah, but what creator isn't? Are you every creator telling me they haven't seen something on the FYP or spoke about something and gone back and bitched and moaned about it? Yes, I have. And I will probably continue to fucking do so, but I'll never trust anybody on this app again. Can I ask you a question, Luke? Um, yeah. Also with Alex, right, or Prince Brett, um, his username is, but with him, right, why did he sit on it for so long? Why did he suddenly just um, decide to tell Chester? You know, he did it out of malice, in my opinion. I've said he it from, you know, from yesterday. You know why he... didn't he say it before? And I'll tell you why, because now he's fallen out with Luke, okay, he over like me. He, he, Luke didn't... Angie, he didn't like Chester. He wanted me away from Chester. He couldn't understand why I still spoke to Chester off the app. Chester said to me on the phone the other day, I knew Prince Brat was telling you not to speak to me, but I will not have people saying to me, I outed personal trauma. You went live. As I will say to Chester, I won't play the messages, Chester, on live. Go back to the 12th of March and play their messages and come on and apologise. Because you know you outed your personal trauma. You were drunk. Yeah, and, and I can confirm that it was outed on live. I can't play it on here, but it was definitely outed on live by Chester. And let me say something as well about Miss Red, right? Because I told her to walk away from me, I begged her to walk away from me. Yeah. She has never been nothing but kind to Alex. And all Alex did, she's not promoting my show. I stood up for her all that time. I stood up for her. She's not promoting me. She promotes you, but she don't promote me. It's what it was all about. She's been nothing but fucking kind. I will tell you now, Probably 7% of what Prince Bat is saying about things is true. The other 93% is bollocks. And if you choose to believe it, unfriend me, unblock me, because this is a clout chaser. He did the same with Bradley. He did the same with Bradley when he went live to try and expose EQ for Bradley having a sugar daddy. He's done the same. This guy wants a platform. Can this I just guy... say something? I've got a message here, Luke, from a mod. Uh, yes. You know, she's... a. Uh... A very good friend of mine said, yes. I was in Chester's live when he told everybody. Thank you. And all you fucking wankers saying I'm a child groomer and all you fucking people as well saying that I'm responsible for EQ's racism. That was the other argument that me and Chester had because I went online and said 70%, 70%, I believe it was her. He went online and said, Luke fucking knows it was her. He went off his head, misreads up Luke's ass. They know it. And I will be posting a video. I will be posting a video after this live. I will be posting a video to show that it was EQ. Unfortunately, EQ, they don't update the tags for 12 to 24 hours. So I will upload that video momentarily. Now, I'm going on holiday. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. I will be back next week to do my FYP. And I've just, got, just come through a second message to say that they, they were also on another mod. I've got two mods that have just messaged me to say they were on Chester's live when he outed it himself. Now, if anybody would probably say that do the same thing, oh, my God, did you watch someone so's live? I'm shocked. Not out of malice, but did you see his live? Oh, my God. I'm, uh, you know, it, wasn't like that. it wasn't like that, Ange. Prince no, Brad, what I'm saying to you, Luke, is he Prince, outed it on live, yeah? He, he outed it on it. He knows he did it. He so knows, uh, what I'm saying is other people would probably say, have you seen that live of Chester's? Oh, my God, I'm, I, I hope he's okay. 
do you know what I mean? Because he outed it himself. Prince Brat could never understand why I still spoke to Chester, and Chester was there for me. When my cousin died three months ago, Chester was there on the phone. When Rosie died, Chester was there on the phone. I can't fault him for that. He was brilliant. But doing that and turning on me yesterday when I've helped you financially for a year and a half, can't do it anymore. I'm, I'm done to be rid of them both. I won't sit here and I won't slag Chester. But him, if you lot can't see what Brat really is, mental health advocate, didn't think about my mental health. No, he didn't think of mine when he did a hate live either, when he had 1K in. No. So what will happen now is he'll be on later crying, but I'm done. I'm done. I apologise for bitching and slagging people off off what I've seen on the FYP. I massively apologise. But there's crazy. Can I ask you a question, Luke? Did, did uh, uh, Prince, uh, sorry, Prince Brett know that um, Chester altered it on live? I, 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 I don't know. I can't remember the conversation. I don't know. I, I, I honestly can't answer it. Prince Brat's concern was getting me away from Miss Red, getting me out of Gracie's agency. Um, this is this is how much of a bad person I am. Fucking ten days ago, before this happened, he's he's dragging this out, and people know why. We were going to do another show together. So oh, we'll do it because his numbers were down. Let's do something. Let's go live at night and do another show. And yeah, yeah, please, let's do it. That day, his mum was on the phone. You're a wonderful guy, Luke. You know, you've stood by Alex. Thank you for helping him out. I, I'm, 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 the one thing I will take advice off Zach, and we know me and Zach aren't friends. You can't trust anybody on TikTok. And that's the truth. I stand by, you know, Miss Red's been brilliant to me, Jay, MT, and all that who supported me. But this is a... This is a, this is a massive hate campaign. A massive hate campaign to take my platform down. I will not say sorry for what I've for going off. I will not say sorry for going off on rants. Angie, you've known me. You know I do. Pearl knows me. Everybody knows me. And They're this, people. I've got another message here, and this is also from someone. And I don't know why this is all. This is all hearsay, guys. Okay, you have your own opinion. Okay, because there's no evidence of this. Can I just read this, Luke? Okay, and this is from someone that's been watching me for a very, very long time. Now, I've even got WhatsApp. They're on my WhatsApp. Okay. Right. And I've got Angie. I'm not going to out their name. Okay. Angie, I can tell you that when I talked to Alex myself, the reason why I stopped talking to him was because of him messaging me to gift him and Cowboy all the time. Nothing was good enough. Luke is right about him and only wanting gifts. It was non-stop all because I was trying to help him on the app. And that is someone that has my WhatsApp. Um, I'm obviously not going to out that, but you believe me, you believe me, you don't, you don't. I've just, I've just, I've just played a video there where the lad says his mental health. He said, "I've had the worst mental health day of my life, and I'm going through it." But let's get the gifts to try and cheer me up. Yeah, there you go. I've played it. I'm sorry to anyone that's let me down. I am a bitch. I guys, am, can um, you? Uh, I'm not a biased um, host. You all know that. Okay, I'm very fair, but I, I, I support the truth, and I've heard it with my own ears. Okay, recordings. These messages, you believe what you want to believe. Do you know what I mean? But they are from a reliable source that have sent me the messages on WhatsApp about Alex. Okay, so Alex, please don't think Alex I'm being biased because I hardly talk to him. Angie, Alex, Alex had a bit. Alex had another um, person. I'm not going to mention her name because she's going through it at the moment. Alex had another big. Uh, Alex had another person that gifted him quite a bit and she was sick and tired of getting shared lives every battle someone went in another argument me and alex had another argument me and alex had so one of my gifters had messaged me and said i'm fucking fuming i've just been blocked out of prince brat's live i said why have you been blocked out of prince brat's live he went because somebody with a 32 level badge came in came in and he said can you help me win this can you help me win this can you help me win this so the person that Message me said I said that's don't ask people for gifts. He got blocked blocked out the live. He's dragged this on for nine days, not thinking about my mental health, knowing uh, what Luke, this. Yeah, uh, Luke, can I ask you a question? What about the gifting side of it? Because I'm getting messages. Can you cover that? What do you want me to cover? Um, well, about uh, I think gifting yourself. I have gifted myself. Yeah, and so what? Yeah, I, I don't think it's too deep. I really don't. I'm just, I've got a couple of messages saying, can you talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I'm gifting myself. I went on, I think it was Miss Reza said a ton of myself. 
Angie, you did it when you pretended to be John Chelsea, but we won't talk about that. Well, oh, exactly. I will, well, I... I, will, I will out what I've done wrong. Yes, I absolutely have. Stop but outing don't, me, Luke. <laughs> don't, I will out what I've done wrong. Have I bitched and moaned about people with what's... Yeah, I have. Yeah. And then two minutes later, I'll be on the phone apologising. Did I out anybody's trauma? No, I fucking didn't. And that is where Chester has shot the life out of me shot the fucking life out of me to tell people and deny he denied yesterday being on live saying he spoke about him and there's loads more about him and that other person i'm on about the guy i'm not revealing it it's all been done on live people have seen it angie thank you for letting me in i'll be back next week to do my fyp guys i also just say i did speak to luke like i said yesterday and he wasn't in a good place you know people calling him a groomer and all these things always hear the other side i, I listen i have no issue with chester either i hope he's okay you know with his mental health and what he's been through okay chester's got severe mental health angie that's yeah. why i haven't gone in and i'm not i'm not playing i'm not playing things i'm not saying things chester's got severe mental health but the other one the other one doing this for clout on someone that's been there for you for a year someone that's helped you for a year someone that's gifted you a lot of money yeah but every time guys every time you don't do what prince brat tells you to do i didn't want to bring this up either this is the same guy this this goes back to the last time i spoke to cowboy cowboy rung me um five days ago crying his eyes out saying some things right saying that I've given him money, Luke, I've done all this. And I thought, oh, fuck, not this all again. I'm going through this again, right? This is a guy, there was a battle. Cowboy lost his win streak. There was 1.4K to snipe. Alex didn't snipe. Alex went live on someone he's been with for two years and said that he'd emotionally manipulated him. The screen recordings are there. This is a guy that don't get his own way. He went live about his own boyfriend and said... I have been emotionally manipulated, all because Cowboy lost a battle. He lost his 99 streak. These are the people that you're believing over me. As I said, 7% of what Alex is saying is probably true. There's a lot that's not. But I will not be discussing this guy. I will not be. He'll go on. He's going to milk this for what it's worth. He's getting views. He finished on yeah. the dailies yesterday. If you can't see through this, through your hatred of me, the people that hate me, and that's another thing I want to call out as well, and I'm going to call it out before I go, um, Ange. The people that trolled your mother, who I was there for, the people that trolled your boyfriend, a certain group of somebody's community, yeah? And I'm not speaking about Evil Queen, okay? People that trolled your mother, People that were writing comments about your mother and your boyfriend on your thing were in your live agreeing with you about me. They were in your live commenting about me. I saw it. There's your morals. Yeah, you're right about Luke. Same people that trolled your mother and your boyfriend. And I ain't here to out Prince's personal traumas. He's told me things like I have. He's got something over me, Angie. And the thing he's got over, over me is that I split up with somebody in January because of TikTok, because I spent too much time on TikTok and spent too money, much money on TikTok. There you go. That's what he's got on me. I chose TikTok over my relationship and I regret it every single fucking day of my life. And if I could go back, I'd make another choice. Yeah, but that's your personal life. You know what I mean? Well, it is what it is. People want to out things. But guys... If you don't like me and you don't want to watch my FYP, please just block me and unfriend me. Uh, anybody that I've caused offence to, I'm sorry. I haven't been in a good way to come online. Um, but the, the sad thing is Chester and Prince Brat know what I've got wrong with me medically. And I don't... You ever heard me online, Angie, to come and tell people what's wrong with me? What I've no. got wrong with me? Never. You ever heard me say what, what medication I'm on? I don't even know what's wrong with you. <laughs> no, but they do. They do because we were friends. We were friends. We were personal. It wasn't TikTok. We were all friends. Yeah. Anybody I've bitched about and moaned about, I apologise sincerely. But what you two have done and the way you two have handled this is fucking disgusting. And to lie about me outing a great trauma, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. And I, and I can confirm, like I keep repeating myself, I've heard the voice notes of Chester. And Luke, I've heard it, okay. And also, um, the message uh, people have said they were on that live. Sorry, I've Luke, not Chester, but I've heard their messages. Yeah. So I'm going on holiday tomorrow, business holiday. I'll yeah. be back next week. I don't know if I'm going to be back, Angie, because Angie, like I said, this is this is two people that you trusted, 
two people that you've helped out, one financially and one emotionally. Mm. Yeah? And they've done this to me. And Angie, you, I don't, I want to try and be, yeah, I, I'm going to go. Um, thank you to everyone that supports me. If you don't like me, block me. Bye, Angie. Thank you for this. Thank you, Luke. Take care, yeah. There you have it, guys. Can we turn the comments back on? Um... Right. Wow. And I can confirm I, I do have that, you know, and I did listen to it. And what Luke is saying about uh, Chester going live and outing that, yes, he did. I am not lying about that. What, I have no reason to lie about it. I heard it for myself. It's not hearsay for me because I've I've heard the proof. For me, it's not hearsay. I have no reason to um, side with Luke. Um, occasionally, I speak to Luke on Snapchat. That's it. You know, nothing to do with TikTok, but banter. You know, I hardly speak to Luke. I have no. You know, I, I I'm friends with Chester. You know, I say friends with him. I don't speak to him off TikTok, but I like Chester. I don't have an issue with Chester, so I have no reason to be sitting here. And saying, and this is why I've been, people saying, okay, you're going to side with Luke. It's not. It's because of what I've heard. Chester a thousand percent outed that on his live. Okay. And it's just like anybody else. When you watch someone's live, if I sit here on my live right now and out something that I have gone through, I guarantee the majority of people will be talking to other people. Oh my God, did you watch Angie's live? Did you hear what she said? Okay. It wasn't private. It was live. And I've had two mods, right, that um, have also told me they were on that live when that was um, said. But I hope Chester's okay, you know, with what he's gone through. So I'm going to put some people in the boxes now. And if Chester wants to, to come in and reply um, to what was said, he is welcome to. Now... In regards to Prince uh, Brett, I don't know if I want him on my platform. Um, not because, listen, I'm not biased because he, he, he's now running with the unbiased. I'm um, 100% not. I don't want someone inciting hatred on my platform. I know what he's about. I don't understand why he sat on this and then all of a sudden fell out with Luke, decided to run to Chester and hurt him furthermore by saying what he said. You know, you get what I'm saying? I think he did it out of malice. I think um, I just, yeah, I mean, I messaged, um, um, what was his name, Prince Prince, Prince Bat the other night, which you're probably out, and that's fine, I'm not stupid, but I could see the manipulation, him being all nice, because he knows, well, I'm going to out these messages soon, out them, not bother, don't give two fucks. So I want to put some people in the boxes. Who have we got in here? Oh my god, the list is long. Okay, oh, we got Evil Queen. So it was brushed over because obviously he used you as an example saying about you pretending to be John Chelsea, but we all knew John Chelsea's real account, so we knew it was never John Chelsea. No, well, the no, likes of no. Diadro, hang on, you spoke. The like you spoke, you got me into speak, did you know? Um, so the likes of Diadro and that who do gift each other and themselves, they're not part of our community. They've got their own community mm -hmm. on the on the battle inside, the gift inside. We're not in that. So in our community, Chelsea Liart and me, we gifted off our own backup account. So everybody was transparent mm -hmm. and knew what Luke did was gift himself off a fake account and then big it up to look like he was getting more gifts than what he was to encourage more people to get gifted by so they could gift them more so and that's mani what? manipulation I've done, that too. I've done that no we all know who's who on this app and you pretend to be john chelsea didn't wash for one second because you're not a billionaire millionaire whatever he is so um, Bullshit. No, no, but no one knew. <laughs> people, people knew I wasn't the real chap, John Chelsea. Exactly. So stuff. we knew it. We knew it wasn't who it was yeah. portraying to be. But Luke made everybody try to believe that this account was really a real account, gifting him. That is lying. So he's capable of lying. That's manipulation. He's a capable of manipulation. So this man's not trustworthy. I wouldn't trust a single solitary word he's got to say. And if they've had all this proof, like you keep saying, Angie, if you've got proof, why you sit on it? How long has he sat on this swear and shepherdess? Apparently, it was me being racist so far. You know. I mean? yeah. And now he's releasing a video all of a sudden. But anyway, I'm uh, going now. Goodbye. Thank you.
Thank you, EQ. I've got Chester in the box. Jane, do you mind if I just kick you so I can... Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, one sec. Yeah. Um, okay, one sec. Hello, Chester. Hello, Angie. Can you hear me, yeah? And can I just first, first of all say I'm not against you, okay? No, 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 I'm just no. saying what I've heard. Angie, can I ask, is, was it a screen recording or a voice note? Um, I think a voice note. So that's a voice note on WhatsApp? Mm-hmm. Okay, but that's between me and Luke, so it's private. Um, I, yeah. I don't actually know. I could, I, I could think that's, it. Well, that's did you not know what I've sent Luke? That means it's private. Right, okay. Well, I don't know if it was a voice note or what it was. So that's between me and Luke. Right, well, it's only got Luke's voice on there. So it's a voice, yeah, so it's a voice note then. Yeah, from him, yeah. not from you, from him. Yeah, so it's not a screen recording. No, but it's from him. It's a voice note from him. Right. Also, I want to clear up the fact of when he's um, on about... Uh, yeah, not you. Not you to him. Right. Also about the fact with the EQ thing about the peg glow. I think he also forgets that he asked me to make an account on Comic Gaff. Yeah. Which I didn't to pl um, plaster all over there about eq can i just ask you a question because this is what pe everyone wants to know did you go live and and discuss your trauma i went live a couple of years ago people knew um didn't know the full details of what was going on behind closed doors angie but they knew that was, there were some problems yeah. Everyone is saying you did, you did. So um, I, I wasn't there. I, I don't know. So uh, people have said that you you did go into details, you know, at the pub on that. And also, um, also, so it was okay for him to say to Prince Brett as well about me tying bricks to my feet. Did Which, you not say that on 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 your live? No, I don't know what was said on your live, Chester. I was, I've never done that at all. And I had screenshots of being proof of that being said. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, if someone wants to message me, because I know that a couple of my mods were on that live, I don't know what was said on that live. All I know is that you did out there on your live, um, what, well, a few years ago. I, did, I don't, there's any proof. Huh? Is there any proof apart from that voice note you've had of what Luke's talking? Um, well, I've had my mods uh, confirm that it was Zelted a couple of years ago. And do I believe them? Yes. Okay, that's up to you. But I do believe what you've gone through, you know, and I hope you're okay. You know what I mean? But, okay. Um... I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. But, but do you not think Alex, you know, Prince uh, Brett has, has caused all this? You, you know, the reason why he kind of did what he did was because Luke didn't support me and, you know, on his FYP. And all of a sudden he was outing me, did a hate live on me. And then he went running to you saying, oh, Luke said this, Luke said this. He's not your friend. He didn't do that because he was I, trying to be nice. He was being I've nice. Never, he I've did, never did classed, it out of malice. Yeah, yeah. I've never classed it, um, Prince Brett as a friend and never have done yeah um yeah i haven't said that, that luke hasn't luke. been there it's very controlling who hey, luke very controlling and do you know what i mean people not don't listen to what well if i went through all my screen um, recording voice notes and stuff like that of him threatening this threatening that screaming tell me what to do on live do you know what I mean? Asking me to do some of his dirty work on live. Chester, can I ask you a question? Yesterday yeah. on one, one, one sec, is it okay for me to put people in the boxes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, Hi. darling. Chester, Hi. I'm really sorry that you went through what you went through. But however, yesterday on here, you did say that you only told two people about what happened to you. Now you're backtracking and saying that, well, you did speak about it, but not everybody knew the full details. No, they knew that um, I was having arguments with my friends and stuff like that, but they didn't know the full details. Only Luke and one other mug knew. Okay, thank you. 
Chester, I can remember you on a live telling people, this going back a couple of years ago, telling people what you went through. Now I feel so sorry for you because you have been through a lot, right? But I think, you know, this person that, I don't know, I just, I just feel very sorry for you, Chester, because it's been brought up, you know, and it shouldn't have been. Yeah. I think Alex done that in spite, Chester. I think he done that to aggravate you and to upset you because you did trust Luke. And yeah, he did speak about it and he shouldn't have. But Alex just really stirred the pot. He's stirring the pot. Yeah. And I hope you, Chester and Luke can talk, you know, with each other you know, and get things out, out in the open for yourselves. Because Chester, you're a lovely man. You know, and you didn't deserve that to be brought up again. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, Chester, I went through that myself as a child. And, you know, it's grand every day to get through day by day, but for someone to stir the pot and bring something up again, it hurts really deep because yeah. I don't discuss my life. I only have two friends that I ever discussed things with. And if I thought that some one of my friends went away and spoke about it to another person, it would upset me. But Chester, know that we have your back, you know, and we, we are upset for you. Okay. And don't think that you're on your own because we do. We are crazy about you. The I thing is, Chester, listen, what, what you went through, yeah, is awful. And everyone, we all believe what yeah. you went through, okay? All right? And if you ever need someone to talk to, you know, I'm here. I will send you my number. Um, but saying that, you know, it wasn't, you know, you didn't send it, say it just to just two people. You did say it on a platform. And so you, you can't blame Luke. You were drunk. You yeah, were drunk. You can't and blame Luke it. for for saying what he said. Do you get him saying? Yeah, I think that's getting a bit like letting Luke off the hook a little bit there because oh, if, no, if I'm you not just had something with me, it's it like that once, I wouldn't expect. Again, guys. Sorry, James, let's, let's, I want to say again. I think, I think uh, Luke should have come on here. He should have apologised. Even if Chester has expressed some of his trauma in life, it doesn't give anybody else the right to go and tell private information. He should have come on. But Jane, 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 it wasn't private. Some of it was, Angie, and, and Chester's feelings have got to be valid. Yeah, on but this Jane, we don't know that. We don't know what Chester had said on live because mm. I was told he did go into detail about what what happened to him. That's that was what I was said. Now, I'm not saying that I believe And that's what you was said. Yeah. Yeah, that, I think that's, that's what was said without any... I think Luke kind of... I should have come on here this morning and I fully respect him for his mental health, you know, as well as Chester's. I think he should have come on and said, yeah, it doesn't matter if Chester said it in the past or not. He should have come on and said, listen, I shouldn't have spoke about you like that, Chester. I'm sorry. And let that go. All the rest of this that looks stand means basically nothing to me because I think mental health is the most important thing for absolutely anybody. I think Chester's feelings are pretty valid. Yeah. And um, he's hurt. I think he's upset. going through a lot right now because yeah. I think Luke's mental health isn't great either. Do you know? No, what I mean? no. And I, I respect both men for their mental health because mental health matters the most on this app, and it is really affecting everybody. I think Prince Brat should hide his head in embarrassment for what he's caused, because that's could totally. Mm disgraceful out in somebody's trauma or just for a laugh or for clout or whatever he's done it for it but i definitely think luke and chester should have a chat off that i've got, I've got luke i think it back in the box can i put him back in the box are you happy with that chester are you oh, sorry chester are you okay with it it's fine chester i apologize to you for speaking about it and a really heartfelt apology okay i really do well done luke but that, I really that's do awesome because thing. Chester's been there for me when uh, you know about Kelly's Chester. You were there. No one else was on the phone. Yeah. So Chester, yeah. you wanted me to block you, and somebody wanted me out, wanted you out of my life, which you know is true, Chester. 
Yeah, you know that's true. Um, I apologise to you, Chester. I really apologise to you for talking about that, okay? Yeah. And I wish you nothing but the best, Chester. All right? All right. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I, I'll drop out after this. Chester, I love you dearly, you know I do. And you can feel free to ring me afterwards, but you've just been used as can and fatter for somebody else's argument. And I'm not, I, I, I'm not trying to distract from the fact of what Luca said about you, because obviously if he said stuff, he said stuff. But in terms of, um, like you now, you, you're being used as a pawn in somebody else's argument. Yes, I have. J just because, Chester, you've got such a strong voice, and you're not one to keep quiet, hence the reason why you're hanging around with us. You're not one to be kept quiet. So he come to you deliberately, knowing full well that you would just go out and just say loads of shit. Do you know what I mean? But you're a good boy. I love you, Chester. You know I do. But feel free to ring me after this by all means. But mm -hmm. honest to God, don't jump on somebody's shoulders just because somebody wants you on their shoulders. Jump on in for the right reasons, not the wrong ones. I mean, you gotta you could think to yourself, Chester, why did Alex come out with it now? He's, he's known for a while, I assume. You know, and that's because he's fell out with Luke. You know, he's done it out of malice, not to be a friend or, you know, anything like that. You're a good boy, Chester. Honestly, you are. But don't let, don't let your trauma and everything that you've been through be used in somebody's argument just to prove their point because they've got no proof of, of all the shit that is coming out of their mouth. The boy is very evil in his own way. Um, he went against everybody that didn't want to join him. So please don't let your... I get upset now uh, because I didn't really, I didn't really know what you went through. But feel free to call me afterwards. But yeah, everyone else can have their say. But just don't be somebody's kind of fucked up for their gun, right? Thank you, Corey. It's all right, my boy. People are saying to get uh, Prince Brett, uh, Brett in. The only reason I didn't want to knit him in was I, I know he incites hatred, and I don't want that in my life. Yeah, you you can have an opinion, but if you're going to be hateful and you know want to manipulate people to to for you know to get them on your side, I I'm not. I don't like that. If he wants to come in, he's welcome. It's got to be fair, Ange, to be fair. Like you, you do Devin, Devin, to... I, I get what you're saying. You've got to be fair and you not know, 100%. Um, if he wants to come in, I will bring him in. The only reason I didn't want him in is because I don't like the fact that he incites hatred. And that's what he does. I do believe in freedom of speech, and you know, but to a, an extent, you know, and that's what he does. Chester, can I just say I can hear how upset you are, and I just want to send you. Yes, I said he can come in. I said he can come in. The biggest hugs you could ever feel, because nobody should feel as vulnerable as you're feeling right now. You, you've got to realise, guys. Though I know that there are a lot of people that believe shit. Do you get what I'm saying? So I do believe he's a dangerous guy. And would I want that person on my platform? No. But if you want him in, bring him in. Apparently, he's not. Um, is he blocked? Uh, guys, uh, my mods, can we unblock um, Prince Brett, please? Devin. No, no, I unblocked him. Devin, can I just say, please don't go on your camera with that beard and that hat on. I need to go and have a cold shower now, seriously. Do you know what it is? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bad way of making a point, and I'm not going to do it now. I'll speak on it later on. But um, a lot of people got angry at that. And when the serious issues are being spoken about, it does spoil the emotions when people take it for a joke. Uh, but anyway, that aside, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that right now. It's not the moment. <laughs> Rise me. Okay, I'll put some more people in the box. Give me a sec. Um, listen, I've said it, guys. If Prince Brett wants to come in, he is welcome to come in. Yeah. I really hope now that, Chester, that Luke has given you a heartfelt apology and he you know, said that he's wrong, that you can because it sounds like you and Luke had a really good friendship and I would not allow somebody else to destroy that. But, uh, Jane, I don't feel Luke was wrong. No, I'm, what I'm saying is, it's not that you feel Luke's wrong, but what Luke, repeating what Chester said in private, was wrong and he's apologised for but it. But Jane, we don't know what was said on his live. I don't know if Chester knows exactly what he, was, what he actually said on his live. Because I have been told he has gone into detail about what happened to him. You know, and it's just like anybody. If you if you watch someone's <laughs> live, you're going to repeat it back to somebody and say, "Oh my God, did you watch Sunset's live?" Yeah, I you understand that. Yeah, I just and, hope that, that they can have a chat off this app and maybe rectify any damage that has been done, and that you know they don't allow the friendship to be totally destroyed. 
Well, I mean, can I ask you something? Because people are saying we're the receipts. So um, you did go live about it, Chester, right? I went, no, Angie, I went live. People knew we was having problems. That voice note is from Luke, which is private. It was just Luke's. That's what I'm it's saying, yeah. So that's private, though. That, that's a WhatsApp group. It wasn't a group. No, no what, well, me, me and him. Yeah, it was just him. So. Can I, can I please um, have something can I, to say? Can, I ask, can, I let, can we let Chester answer? Did you go live with it, Chester, and, 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 and talk about your trauma? Um, I went live and people knew we was arguing, Angie, that was it. So you, are you saying that you never say he... I don't remember Angie saying that. I don't remember that. Can I just say I remember that, Chester, and I think you were on there and I think you had a bit to drink and you did mention what had happened. It was about... Why two... does it matter if he did, though? Can we just listen to... That, can we not interrupt, please? So I was there, Chester, when you did a uh, different name completely, but I remember the conversation because I remember my heart breaking for you. I remember, so I'm not saying it in a hurtful way. I'm just saying you did have that conversation, my darling, and you'd had a bit to drink. Yeah. The reason it does matter is because Luke has been accused of saying, saying, saying something privately, you know, as to, to what uh, Chester had said to him. But it wasn't private because he'd been live with it. But the content of what he said is private and it's his trauma. So he's allowed to say it. I don't he know wants. what exact what was said on that live. I really don't. Right. Um, who's the next? Um, let me get some people in one sec. Um... Yeah. Hi, Janet. Hi. Um, I just want to say Chester and Luke were extremely close. Extremely close. Um, he's right in saying that he talked to Luke a number of times a day. They were really good friends. All of this has gone so far south, and it's a sin. It's really, I'm so sad it's happened. I hold no ill feelings towards Luke, but I see what Chester is going through, and it's not okay. What happened to Chester happened to Chester, and uh, I, the, the check drives me nuts. Anyways, it's, it's sad that this has come to this, um, and it's nobody's right to talk about Chester and about anything that happened to him, only Chester. And if Chester spoke about it, that's totally up to him. It's not up to Luke to go around talking about it behind his back. Are you Chester's mum? No. No, but I feel like his mother in a lot of ways. <laughs> I was going to say, was you not on a live? Yeah, but I'm not going to lie, Janet. If someone, if I had gone, if someone had gone live, right, I reckon mm -hmm. a lot of people, if I'd gone live and said something, you know, spoke on my trauma, I've seen people fire up lives about me and said, oh, did you hear what Angie had said about da-da-da? You know, that is what people do. If, if, if you know, and that's why if I'd gone live and said something as to what Chester had said, people would talk about it. Yes, but before this, Angie, who did you hear speak about it? What do you mean? Well, yeah, I mean, everybody is saying that he spoke about this. Well, if everybody knew about it, uh, why wasn't it talked about before now? Why is it such a shock to everybody? That's my point. Well, because not, not everybody was in Chester's life a couple of years no. ago. No, I mean, no, you were saying back in March. I've known Chester long before March, and I don't remember any of this, and I'm not joking. I don't remember anything about any of his um, personal life being dragged on TikTok. All of this is played on his mental health so much, so much. Angie, I even went to you a number of months ago about his mental health and how people have been affecting him and the things that they've said. I mean, if somebody is so close to you and is such a good friend, 
Why are they talking about you behind your back? Well, I don't think he was. Like I said, he went live with it. You know, he, uh, he went public with it. So Luke, you know, Luke went, Luke went to sec. Alex. Listen, Janet. Listen, when you go public with it on TikTok, everyone it gives everyone the right to talk about it. It's that simple. Regardless, regardless, it doesn't matter what it's about. You know, so Luke just said something uh, what Chester had gone live with, which, you know, Luke didn't know anything about it until he went live, discussed it on a public platform. But why is it's it okay not, no, for it's Luke? No longer, once it's trying to, it's no longer private. Okay, it's no longer private, but why is Chester being questioned when he was the one that had all this happen to him? Why because is he the one here defending it? it? You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't why, let anyone question, he's made an you accusation. Let anyone question I'll tell you why, because he's made a severe accusation towards someone that's also in a, not in a good place, okay? And said, he had said that this person had, you know, said something very private that he'd said to him, but it was not private, it was public. You know, uh, Angie, why wasn't Luke questioned when he was up here? Exactly. I just want to know didn't that. Didn't anyone come up and question him? Why? Questioned with what? You didn't let anyone come well, We're what? here, you're, you're here in the comments off. You were like, oh, do you uh, want. Chester has said he went live with it. He said he's, he went live with it. Well, I, whether he went, went live with anything or not. Uh, you did not put Luke up and have questions thrown at Luke the way Chester is here defending his SA. There is something wrong with that. Janet, there is something wrong with it. SA. Listen, we're not talking about that. I said, yet. Yeah, I you were mean, talking about it because this is what this is about. No, it's not, Janet. No, it's not. No, it's not. Like, no, it's not you know, no, you're weaponizing it. You're weaponizing the, his SA now because that's what you're doing. It's not about his SA. I believe him. I think it's awful, and I hope he's okay. And I even said I'll give him my number if he wants to call me any time. You know, you know, call me, no problem. Okay, it's not about his SA. It's about what he said about Luke. He said that he told Luke. No one else knows, but two other people. Uh, it's one other uh, person, I think he said. Okay, but Luke and Luke has said this, uh, told this information to Alex. Yeah, yeah. that's not the truth. Okay, the truth is more than one person or two people, can't remember what it was, knew about it because he went live and told people. I just want to know why he wasn't questioned. Why, I why you never had people in boxes when he was up? Why? Um, I asked Chester because Chester said to me she, he didn't know what else to talk about. He had nothing else to say, so I put people in boxes. I asked Chester, are you okay with me? If you want me to keep people Why out, didn't you ask Luke the same? Because I spoke to Luke. I got his phone number. I spoke to Luke and I said, I'm, gonna, I said, I'm not going to put people in the boxes. Come and have your say. Can I ask I, why you're in here? I think here? it's hang ridiculous. On, hang on, Janet, hang on. Why are you in here attacking Angie? All she is saying to <laughs> is, I am really, really sorry. And we are. Everybody in this chat is so sorry. And nobody wants anybody to go through what Chester went from. Simple as, right? Nobody. Nobody would want anybody to go through that. However, Chester was in here yesterday and he said, I have only ever told two people. <laughs> two about what happened to me and that's a lie right it's not a, he didn't tell he outed it two years ago on his own live you just said you wasn't around then so you wasn't around then to know chester sat on his live and he had a drink god bless him and said what was happened the support come in the minute you put it on a public profile let's not forget TikTok is a public profile the minute you put it on a public profile it becomes public knowledge people will run with it people will twist it people will turn it to their own narrative that's just how it is so don't attack angie because she's come on here and saying hang on a minute you said to me there were two people there wasn't two people he told a whole entire life what had happened to him regardless of was it right no it wasn't right what happened to him is heartbreaking i watched his live myself I had tears falling because the poor man was in a horrible way. I think we've got to remember we've got a vulnerable young man in the box and like everybody's going at it. No one's know. going at Chester. No one is going at no, Chester. Not at, not at Chester, Andrew, but everybody's trying to get a point across. Let's remember we do have a vulnerable young man. We've got two men with mental health that's at a low point at this time. You know, I think we just have to give that kind of respect to both of them because they're both their mental health matter. You know, if Chester's gonna have to maybe 
come off Hello, for some time. Hello, Chester. Yeah. Can you explain more about the Common Cafe profile you were asked to open? Yeah, um, then Luke asked me to make an account on there and say about all that paedophile thing. So he wanted you to make an account and spread lies that I was a paedophile and stuff like that? Yeah. There we go. And I didn't do it. Thank you. That's all I want to ask. Thank you so much, Angie. I just want to say that I'm really disappointed that everybody is questioning Chester and that nobody had the opportunity to do the same with Luke. <clears throat> I'm sorry I got a sore throat. But I really do, I'm disappointed in that, Angie. Because to me, to me, this has been, to me, this has been one-sided. It's not you one never, that's you never it. gave, you never gave the our side an opportunity to question Luke. Right. <clears throat> Can I ask you something? How, how is it one-sided when I know it was outed on 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 his? Life? Because you never let anybody in the boxes. But Janet, this is the thing, right? I speak from a personal experience. I outed my personal my personal situation before and people came from me for it, not on a big platform because I don't have a big platform, right? But when you out something, people have an opinion on it. So don't sit there and say that you told two people, right? When you sat there, on a live and you outed yourself you outed out your essay situation yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah listen all i'm saying is i don't feel luke is in the wrong for what he said if it's out on a platform it's not private Nothing is private. Nothing is private on this app. We all know that, and we all go through what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, right? If like, you want to use that point of view, that's fine. You can use that point of view, but in the end, it was completely wrong with what that guy did. I don't care. You can defend it to the death. Why it was disgusting. You didn't, you didn't live through it, so why are you crying about it? You sound I'm like not you're crying it. about it. I'm defending my friend. Well, maybe let your friend have his say. He's very upset, obviously. <clears throat> Chester sounds as if he's very upset. Obviously, you would, be upset. you would be upset. You would be upset. Of course, of course. I think maybe, do you need some time out, Chester? Do you need a break? Yeah, I'm going to drop. Yeah, I think you should take some time out. And you can always PM me if you want to have a chat. Thank you, Andrew, for letting me on. Oh, you're welcome. Listen, I'm going to drop you my number, OK? And just call me in. Yeah. I think, you know, you've got two vulnerable young men there at the moment that's both battling mental health, and I think we've got to think about both of them. And telling more stories is just not going to help anybody. Mm, exactly. Hiya, Nana. Hiya, Ange. I 100% get what you're saying, because if Chester outed it, he outed it. But I do I mean, also... that's the bottom line. That's it. It, it oh. is the bottom line. People are looking in the essay and not the, 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 the whole situation. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, what he went through is awful. And like I said, he can phone me anytime he wants to, okay? But like I said, he didn't tell two people. He told a nap. He went live with it. Now, a lot of people, if I go live with something and spoke on my trauma, which a lot of people know on the set, right, because they're fired up lives about it. Well, are, no, they I agree. Wrong, are they in the wrong for talking about my trauma that I went live with? Yes. Well, oh, maybe yes, but everyone has done it. And like anybody else, you'd probably, you know, go and speak to your family or friend. Oh, my God, someone so went live and said, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you're saying, Andrew, and I do agree with you, honestly. He and and he did know all himself. He went, uh, it wouldn't have known all this, right? Right, I get that, but when you've got a close friend that you confide in, and even though it was out there, I'm just saying I'm not sticking up for anybody, I'm just saying even though it's out there, when you confide in a close friend, you don't expect them to speak to anybody else. It's like you and Pearl. If Pearl he could have said it because he was shocked by what he was hearing. He might not have said it out of malice. He, he, he might have like, oh, I hope he's okay. How do we know how he said it? 
You know, he might be have, have, have said it to Alex to say, I hope he's okay. I'm really shocked what he went through. You know, we don't know how it was said. No, and I'm not standing up for anybody. I'm just saying, like, if you've got a close friend, I wouldn't expect a close friend of mine to speak about my trauma. Do you know what I mean? To somebody else. That's all I'm saying. Even if it was out there, and it is out there for the world to see. Do you know what I mean? But I would expect a close friend not to speak on it. Mm -hmm. I think you're right, Angie, the context that it was said in. And, you know, like, I've got a lot of respect for Luke jumping in the box and apologising. You've got to give him that respect. Yeah. But we've also got a young man that was sitting in the box crying. So his trauma has been triggered and he might be shocked of things that he's forgotten he said in the past because everybody's traumas, you know, you remember things in different ways. So I think we've got to respect both the guys this morning and stop this other person from spreading this gossip and, and telling people stories because it isn't helping. He's physically I mean, affected. You've got to remember, yeah. though, because of what was said, you know, Luke has been getting, you know, he saw the messages he was getting, yeah. rumour, you know what I mean? And I don't know if he's been getting messages in his, in his inbox. Can I ask you a question, Ange? Yeah. In the most respectful way possible, why was Luke not... Why didn't Luke have anyone in the boxes, but yet Chester has been allowed to be questioned about his essay and how he spoke about it and everything else? Yeah. It's really well, burning me out. I'll tell you why. Okay, Minx, let me reply to that. I'll tell you why. Yeah. When Chester came into my life, he said, I really haven't got no nothing to talk about. He said, I don't know what else to say. So he seemed a little bit stuck. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put people in the boxes, but then I did say to him, are you okay? about me putting people in the boxes. He said yes. Now, if he was not okay, I would have dropped everyone. It was because he had nothing else to say. So I thought oh, maybe right. if people can get in the box to kind of, you know, he just seemed a little bit, I don't know, anxious. I'm not too sure. So I thought maybe people can ask some questions and, you know, see if he's okay. Maybe, you know, break that kind of ice a little bit. And that's why I put him in. The, that's why I put people in the boxes. Oh right, yeah. thanks, Ange, because that was burning me. I was like, why has yeah, she done yeah, that? He like, did say. He yeah, said, yeah. I've got nothing else to say. I don't know what else to say. So I put people in the boxes. And, you know, and I said, are you okay with that? And he said, All right, yeah. All right, then. I thought I'd jump up and ask that. Thanks, though. Thanks for answering. Right. I just hope Chess is okay. Listen, I hope Luke's okay with his mental health. And I hope, for God's sake, I hope Chess is okay because even though he spoke about it, he's got every right to speak about it. But when everyone's talking about it and asking you questions on that, that's if, when it's not right. People want to know why I didn't ask Luke a lot of questions or um, as to why I didn't put people in the boxes. He had to be somewhere. So he said to me, I've only got 15 minutes. So we didn't have a lot of time. So I just wanted him to tell his side of the story. Okay, you heard someone in the background and he said, I'm going to be five minutes. Okay, so that's why I didn't want to ask him loads of questions. I just wanted him to say what he had to say. But hopefully maybe he can go light on his own platform and put people in the boxes. I don't know. Listen, it's not your fault. You was only doing what you've been asked and that's it. Yeah. And I think just to clarify that you're not questioning I'm on essay or anything at all like, like that. No, no. The yeah, essay is no, it's the, more a piece discussed yeah. it in the past. And yeah. why Luke, you know, and I think we generally have to respect these two guys now and, and maybe drop this situation because Chester sounds like... That You've got to remember, where did this all stem from? Yeah, the gossip. But, you where, know, no, no, where did this all stem from? This stem from, yeah, um, Prince Brett, right? He yeah. did what he did out of malice. Okay, why did he sit on that for so long? Why has he suddenly... Out of it. Why has he suddenly said, oh, Luke is talking about Angie, Luke is talking about Jay, Luke is saying this, Luke is... They fell out because Luke did not support me in that battle. I 100% stand by Luke on this. Well, um, and listen, in regards to Chester, I like Chester. I do like Chester, but with, in regards to his trauma, yeah, I hope he's okay. I 100% believe him. I'm not victim shaming. I'm not doing any of that. Okay. Oh, I know. In regards to um, the 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 uh, Brett, what's his name, Prince Brett situation, I will stand by Luke on that. Yeah, man. I think Corey's right. You know, Chester's a pawn in a very big game that, yeah. some, that Prince Brett is trying to. Yeah. And I hope Prince Brett is looking at, at yeah, Chester. That's the, the source of the issue. That's yeah. the, who's the problem. Is 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 him because he did it out of malice. He didn't give a shit that he was going to hurt Chester. 
You didn't give a fuck. No, I don't think anyone can speak on that. Like, like you're right, and like, poor Chester's just been put in the middle of all this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, you know what? You know that saying, as the saying goes, "What doesn't what doesn't hurt you is not gonna." Whatever that saying goes, what's that saying? But you don't know. What you don't know is not gonna hurt you. Right. So he had to run to to um to um Chester and tell him. Yeah. To hurt him. And poor Chester is hurt, and you know his feelings are very valid. And I think he's done it all for the clout. I I do hundred percent agree with that. I've got messages from my mods who I trust, a hundred percent trust. That I've said about Prince Brett, him messaging over and over again about gifts. Prince Brett did what he wanted to do. Look, he's caused the biggest storm no. with TikTok. Everybody's no. now going and searching, seeing who Prince Brett is. They're now gifting Prince Brett. They're all feeling sorry for him. But this end is not about day, Luke. This is not about Chester. This is Prince about Brett. Prince Brett. Yeah. And it's, you know, he's done, he's got what he wanted. Look at us. We're all sitting here. We're all discussing it. He's upset people. You know, he's affected mental health when it comes to Luke and Chester and other people that he's dragging in with his yeah. content bullshit. You know, at the end of the day, people need to take this to him. I hope Chester and Luke get on the phone and then manage to talk it out because they have such a good friendship and it's hard to have a good friendship, I think. I'm going to put everyone in the box, guys. But after this, we're just going to move on and yeah. that's it. I think we need to leave Chester's trauma with Chester. It's his story, you know. 100%. You know, we just witnessed a young lad who's absolutely broken. Let's not break him more and move on. 100%. I'm with you on that. Okay, I just put it he's got people around him. I'm Janet sounds pretty good. Janet sounds as if she's got a lot. A lot. I don't know. Right, who's yeah. So I'm just putting people in the box. Jane, can I just say. Thank you, because you have such a level head when you come into some of the chats, and I think it's really nice to have, so thank you, my love. Well, oh, thank you. I'm just all about mental health. I'm very passionate about mental health, and it absolutely really gets to me when I see like people destroying another's mental health. It really does. I just love it, you know. Well, God bless you, sweetheart. I think you're lovely. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hi, Shazza. Oh, yeah. My, my question is just for you, Anjo. Mm -hmm. You constantly preach, no matter who tells you what on this app, you don't believe it until you've seen the proof, but yep. yet you've just admitted you didn't watch, list, watch that live that night when that guy apparently said what he did in the live. But you said you believe he did because your mods told you so. No, I just said that the, I have messages from my mods that was on that live. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah, I get that. That's but it. you do. I'm going by the voice note, right? Sorry? I'm, I'm going by um, Luke's voice note. That's Luke's voice note. But you do keep claiming you don't, you're never going to believe anyone on this app unless you've got the proof. Well, I had the proof. You've no, you haven't I had, had the, the proof, proof from the kid himself. I had the proof, and also it came out of Chester's mouth. It went you don't it. know that because you've just said you, you just can't. Said it. it came out of his mouth when he first came on my live. They went live with it. But you've started in this live. You've started in this live several he said, times. Well, he, he said he didn't go to detail about it, but he did he go is. live about it. No, he didn't. He didn't say he went live about that. He said he went live and people knew his relationship was growing. Shazza, he said, I just didn't go de into detail about it. Well, the comments will tell you because that we know exactly what room. you said. What everyone is saying is that he did. No, he said that the lo in the live, he, people knew that him and this other person was arguing and not getting on. He didn't mention anything else. He also oh, said he didn't go into detail. He said in his live, he said in his live, he, he, he also it, said he didn't go into detail, detail, which gives me the impression he did say it, but he didn't go into detail about it. No. There is a possibility he's forgot about that because some nights I come on here when I'm at when when I'm at my lowest through the grieving of my son, 
And the other night I spoke privately to somebody that knew my son that noticed me on TikTok, you know, and I've come on to Andrew's live a few times and Pearls and I've spoke about my son and his death. And but I would be upset if that person got me at my lowest on Sunday night and I told him private stuff and he came on here and said it I and asked. you forget you do it. You know, you do forget. Oh, I actually did that. I want Andrew's life. I asked him more than that. I in detail and he said he can't remember. Yeah, I think it's a serious trauma. It's a, it's a, it's a serious trauma. It's a serious trauma. I understand what you're saying, Jane, but when you've had a bit to drink, you might yeah. not also remember what was said. Do you know what I mean? That's what I mean. And when, when, you're, when you're in trauma and, you know, even my daughter said to me lately, watch what you're doing, ma'am, because I noticed you're saying a lot on, on TikTok, you know, you, you might forget yourself and say something and then not remember it because your your trauma is serious and you you can't remember what you're saying. Oh, well. you know? and, uh, and to be honest, I've been in a live chat. I sat up with Angie. People will tell you till four or five in the morning when she's had a drink and the next morning I'll say, oh, my God, you were funny when you said that. And she'll say, oh, I don't remember that. Do you know what I mean? When we've had a drink and we get to a point where we're drinking to forget or we're drinking to cope, we're not going to remember things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hey, Nicola, you all right? Hello. Hey, Tracy, you all right? Hi, Angie, how are you doing today? Oh, fine, thank you. Uh, I just want to quick say something. Um, I know, yeah, we, sh we all come on when we drink. Well, I don't because I don't drink, I can't. Yeah. But we should all be careful what we say on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, whether you enjoy, if you're gonna come on here drunk, don't come on here drunk. If you, I know, oh, yeah, you keep off it. If you've got, if you're in a bad place, ring up your friends, your family. There's plenty of people out there we can call and talk to without, you know, having to come on to a place like TikTok, which is live to millions, and and open your mouth. That's the last place, and don't all have a go at me. I mean. <laughs> It is bad place to come on here and open your mouth because you've only got to get one person plus play, you know, record screen and that's it. You've got it. Everybody's got it on the FYP the next morning. Oh, did you see this? Did you see this? And then that person is sitting there thinking, oh, shit. And then their mental health gets worse and you're thinking, oh, my God, what did I do last night? I can't remember what I said. I can't remember what I've done. It's the best, worst. It's the worst place to be on his TikTok when you're pissed. Happy pissed, yeah, be on here, happy pissed, you singing, you're playing records, happy. But when you're depressed, no. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, the worst place to be on when you're pissed and sad. Keep off the places. I don't go on if I'm sad. If I want to talk to somebody, I will. I'll put on having a bad day and I want people to talk to me. Yeah. And then that's it. But I don't want to, I don't come on here if, if I'm really down in the dumps or I won't come on. Okay, so I didn't come on. Yeah, I spoke to, probably spoke to Angie or I probably spoke to Pearl and Miss Red, but that's it. I didn't tell them what was wrong with me. I didn't tell them how I was feeling from the night before. I don't want people to know what happened the night before at half past one in the morning. I don't want people to know. So, well, come on. Yeah. But I understand people coming on, but you've got to realise it is the worst place to come on. TikTok and Twitter and Facebook. If you're down in the dumps and that badly down in the dumps, speak to somebody else. I'm not going mad. Don't please don't have a go at me. But that's me. I'm 56 years of age. I'm probably older than some of you lot in here. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt and fucking bungee jumped. Oh. You know, and it's the worst places to be on. If you're down in the dumps and that bad, get on the phone to somebody else. Don't get on these platforms. And everybody, yeah. <laughs> go and have a go at me now. You've made it one sided, I'm sorry, but you have. Not you, Tracy, but Angie. You had the I'm comments off no, you had the comments off for Luke, you had the boxes off for Luke, but Chester didn't get the same case. See, I don't care what Travis if you're trying I've to spin. But it has um, not been fair on Chester. Oh my god, is, who is this? What I about Chester? Hey? I recognise it. Why are you it talking about Chester? I'm not focusing oh, on Oh, I Luke. know you are. Oh, you're the one that dogs Jay's children. Yeah, we don't yeah. do talking here. We don't do doxing of children. So, do you want to just um, leave? Thank you very much. Yeah. You didn't dox any you, children. Yes, yes, you doxed her children. No, Get I didn't. Disgusting. What you did. 
I don't know what that means. So I won't say anything. Yeah, sorry, she did do- dox Jay's children. Doxed her address, man, for fuck's sake. She's got kids living there. Get out of my life, you weirdo. Hi, Angie. Hey, yeah. Um, can I can I say something? Just from the beginning, this was out. This was like over two years ago, whenever it was that it started. And whether he had 15, 20 people, a hundred or whatever in his live, that was back then. And this has only been brought to attention now because Luke has um, Luke has passed on to Brat, and because Luke and Brat have fallen out, this is why it's been brought up. And he's very vindictive, Brat, for what he has done. And as for um, Brat's manipulation in um, gifting is out of this world. Like um, I've sat, I sit there because I sit there, I do my crocheting and I cam too, and I watch people's FYPs because I'm a nosy cow. And I've actually um, sat there and pointed out how many times he asked for gifts and stuff like that. And it's uh, it is crazy and how he manipulates um, people into um, gifting him and that. So it is bad. But yeah, Brat has done this um, to cause all of this, I guess. But Luke was in the wrong for passing it on so many years later. Um, and yeah, that's what I have to say on it. I don't know when it was passed on. I really don't. Does anyone, do you know when it was passed on to Zach, uh, Alex? I don't know when it was, but it must be lately. Yeah, Actually, why know. did you not ask Luke any questions whatsoever? I told you, I asked him a couple of questions, right? A couple? He had 15 minutes, so I made this very clear. He had to be someone somewhere at 12.30. So I wanted him to get in the box, have a say, and that was it. He had yeah, to go. We didn't, didn't discover him. anything. I didn't he him and said, because he has to be where he's spent 12 there. Did you want to make this 11.45? Luke's like, your friend, though, isn't he? So you are no, biased. Not. I don't speak to Luke. Yeah. You misread and Luke 100% have had a conversation before oh. this live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course Do you not think? Was no. you there for that conversation? Were you? I'm speaking to Angie. I know I'm speaking to you. Was you there for that? Well, I was speaking to Angie. And I'm asking you a question. Everybody's blaming Prince Brat when if you look at the real culprit, it's Luke. But you're all biased to Luke. But not Angie. Don't have a go at Angie. Angie I asked her a question. I'm not having a go at her. I asked her a question and I stated an opinion. I was not having a go at somebody. Luke the is the problem, and everyone's trying to make out like Luke's the victim. He's not the victim. He spoke about someone's life. Yes, he might have spoke about it before on his own platform or whatever, but Luke shouldn't be talking about it. Um, Snake, can I a f- tell you something here? Because you, <clears throat> no, I think you're the only biased one here. <clears throat> you know how many people talk about me? I spoke about my trauma. Do you know how many people fired up alive about my trauma? Have you Those gone on at them? No, you haven't. Do you know how many people have you done have that? You have every right to have a go at people father. about that, Angie. You have you every right. People, do you know how many people have marked my father's death because I've gone live? And, and, and you have every death. right to stand your ground about that because that's your story. But, you know, it's just you're just picking and choosing here right now. Not me? really. It's so just the fact I'm not Team platform. Luke. If you've gone live on a public platform, it's no longer private. It's public. Is anyone, exactly. is anyone sat there and said to Luke, why, why are you so reporting everybody why is he reporting all big creators when he's got no personality whatsoever he reports everybody to try and build his platform but he has no platform and you know that do you yeah i've watched him i've seen him he has no platform you report people Mm. he does report people okay so i don't have have an issue with Luke. he packed into his phone i I don't understand how you would know that oh how do you not know that well i don't know that yet you're making the accusation not me not an accusation when a lot of people have said it. Well, so then you've gone by hearsay then? What, like you've done this whole live? Um, no, I've gone by evidence. When you, What evidence are you not showing anybody else, but you're claiming there's evidence? I don't need to put it on. Well, that just shows that you and Luke have had a conversation before the live because I you've got all the evidence. To I said I spoke yeah. to Luke. He told me inside. So the this story. is a biased live to make Luke look like Chester the victim? Call, if Chester, you listen, if Chester wanted to... Call, I don't it's a biased live to make Luke look like the victim and everyone feels sorry for Luke when he's really the biggest problem on this app. He thinks he runs the joint and he doesn't. And you're all under his little spell. It's ridiculous. People are out there making content and stuff, trying to build themselves up. Like, you do your own content, Angie. I'm not having a go at you. I'm not saying you don't. You do your own content. Like, Evil Queen does her own stuff. Zach the Brat does his own stuff. Yet Luke has this massive problem with everybody because he has nothing. He's the drama. 
He is the drama. I'm just saying it's not true because he's blocked me. So you can't stand here and say that everyone in here is biased because it's not true. No, I, don't, I mean people that are on... Oh, I don't mean you, Anna. Nana. No, I know you don't mean me. I'm just saying. Andy goes by the fact. She's been given a voice note that explains why. So you can't come up here and yeah, say Luke, that. Luke's voice note. Yeah. But she, she, so this this was just a platform for Luke to, to play the victim. But she it gave was a... to the same platform to have his say. It's Play not the victim. fault. I'm not, is it, listen, I feel bad for Chester. I do feel bad for Chester. No one should be speaking about it. But he brought it here, and yes, Luke's in the wrong for them saying it to, to Prince Pratt when he's only just met Prince Pratt, really. But that's what he's to fault at. And it's not funny that he's, he's giving Chester an apology on a live he shouldn't have done it on the live. He should have gone off the live and give a heartfelt apology. Shouldn't have just come back he into said, the box. Yeah, again, to play the victim. To, no, he did say he tried to ring him this morning. And even Chester said he was trying to ring him this morning. Not to give an apology to see how he was. Wasn't to give an apology. He only apologised when he was told that he should give an apology. That's the only time he started to apologise. When so somebody said, said he should apologise. Well, you don't well, I'm guys, I'm Snoop, Snoop, can I ask you a question, please? How do you know that what he was going to say when he made that phone call? Because he well, said, Luke said it himself. Him. Luke said he rang to see, he was trying to ring in this morning to see how he was. He didn't say to apologise. Okay, but he, what does he have to give you a detailed line of everything he wanted to say? Maybe no, in that I, conversation. You're all going against one. me because Maybe I'm not team Luke because he's. Luke now. said Maybe it, not the comments. Hey, you've had comments. to say. Read the comments. From, uh, sorry, hey, bitch. Hi, Angie. Yeah, um, yeah I'd, I'm friends with both Chester and Luke. Um, and I'm just here to clarify, because I've only got a couple of minutes because I've got to go pick the little one up, that I was in the box back in March when this was spoken about on live. Right. Well, like I said earlier, you don't come on TikTok to do things like that, whether you're pissed or sober. Hey, it's not yeah. Angie's fault. We, you know, Angie opened up the boxes, was the only one that did. Wait, just, Miss here, Red here, didn't. Here, so do you want to finish? Yeah, it, it was back at the beginning of the year. I was in the box and obviously sort of said, like, don't do this on a live because, yes, you've only got a few people in there, um, but you don't know who's on the outside. Exactly. Yeah. You don't know who's recording it. You don't know whatever anybody's doing. And it's the wrong place to did do he, it. Did he talk about it? Yeah. In detail well, or not? It wasn't in massive, like, massive detail, but it was spoken about, yes. Right. So it's not Angie's fault then. So, yeah, I'm not saying you had a go at a Snoopy scoop, but, you know, it was a bit wrong how you came across. Angie was the only one that opened up the boxes for him. Miss Red this morning, and I don't know whether Pearl's been on this morning. I was a little bit like getting up, but Angie was opening the boxes, and now Angie's getting it in the neck for opening up the boxes because she didn't. I didn't, I didn't say anything to Angie so. about opening the boxes about what Chester went through. I said it was Chester's story, and no one else should speak about it. Like <laughs> Angie's story, yeah, no one Chester. has the right to speak about Angie's well, story. People do yeah, but if you put it on TikTok, it's on a public platform. It's going to be spoken about. Exactly. If it's on a public platform, then everybody can speak about it, no matter who's watching or silently watching. You haven't got to put on the screen that okay. you're watching. Can, you can I ask watch. everybody that's team Luke a question, right? Can I just when ask? This has all come out because I didn't even know about Chester's trauma because of after no, after listening. Yeah. To Luke, right? Bearing in mind, we've all heard, we've all heard Prince Brat say how Luke was doing this, Luke was doing that. Da, 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 da. Remember, Prince Brat is a younger guy. He's younger. Do you really think he's actually that manipulative? Seriously, he's a anybody younger can, guy. Luke is older. If I do, it doesn't matter your age. Yeah, I work in that read. industry. Oh yeah, come on! You get old. Listen, anybody can. People younger than him do it. People younger than him are very manipulative. I'm not saying yes. Exactly. He could be. He, you know, you can't sort of go on that kind of judgment because it comes at any age. 
it does you anyway it's young or old even in their 80s do it i mean Luke anybody can it be to be the, the victim he hates that the brat he hates evil queen he hates anyone and that's who he's going up against that's who he's reporting that's who he's going up against he spoke to angie before the live well of course he did because you on my phone we you told me you spoke to you before the live. You I said he did. Him, yeah, because it. Yeah. You know, so how, how am I on your phone? phone? You just today. said. <laughs> I spoke to him yesterday. Yes. Right. So you, you didn't sit there and listen to him and how he wanted to discuss his part, side of the story. No, he wasn't sitting there saying this is how I'm going to say things. No, he told me his side of the story and that was it. Can I ask? Was it two years that Chester put this out, or was it March? It was back at the beginning of the year. This is all out because of Prince Brett. All this has all come out of someone's trauma because of Prince Prince Brett. But you want to sit here blaming Luke? This is not Luke's fault. This is out. This is Prince Brett's fault. It's all out. Everything else is his fault, though. No, this is out because is. Of, Luke uh, is listen, the drama. You would not have known. I didn't know about Chester's trauma. Neither did you. Neither did half the app on here. And now it's out because of Prince Brett brought it out. Would you not agree that they're both in fault for Luke sharing it to Brett and then Brett passing it on to Chester? Yes, Chain. Yeah. Yeah. Would you not agree that they're both in fault for Luke passing it on to Brat and then Brat passing it on to Chester? No, no. And I'll tell you why. Once it's on public platform, many people discuss my trauma on here, right? And that's okay. Yes. You don't have no opinion on that, do you, Snoop and Snoop? You don't no, have I do not have an opinion. I don't have an opinion on right? my trauma that I've discussed on here. Once it's on public platform, it's public. You have yeah, everyone to talk about it. And listen, it depends how he said it to Alex. You, you get what I'm saying? He probably didn't say it in a, in a malice way. He was like probably shocked. He was like, oh my God, did you see the live? You know, but you all do it. You're all perfect. You, you are. I'm not that deep. So, under the control of Luke, it's unbelievable. You and Miss Red, under the I'll control of Luke. Bye. Love you. Not. Bye. It's so I'm not. Boring. Good boy. Love you. Good boy. But I'm not under you. I don't know. Like 100%. <laughs> I mean, I don't know him from Adam and Eve, but listening to both of them this morning, but like this afternoon, like I said, don't spread the shit on TikTok. If you don't want people to talk about you, don't do it. If you want a sympathy and you want to have somebody to talk to, then yeah, it's different. But if you don't want people to talk shit about you, don't do it on a public platform, like Angie said. If, if every, what everybody says, me, somebody could be screen recording this now and saying what I'm going to do and put it out there. I don't care. I mean, I won't say it on here if I'm not going to say it to your face. I won't. I'm 56, I won't. But I won't say it to your face. I'm not going to put it on TikTok. But I don't know these pair. But really, like I said, don't come on here if you don't want people to know. Talk to somebody else. There's millions of other people you can talk to. You haven't got to do it on here and you haven't got to slag people off and... Angie opened the boxes, it's not Angie's fault. She opened the boxes for now because nobody else would. So, you know, let's have a bit of respect for Angie. If you're gonna have a go at Angie, please don't. It's not Angie's fault. If I open my boxes, it's not my fault I've opened the boxes for somebody to say something, like everybody else. I'm not famous, I've only got 1,700 people following. I ain't really bothered. I like to go live, but I won't put shit on TikTok. We can't afford to nowadays because there's too many people out there screenshotting it, recording it, and then putting it to somebody else. And then before you know it, millions of people have known what you've got on yesterday or gone on 10 years ago. You can't afford to do it. Thank you. Thank you for the gift, guys. I'm going to jump out, but as I said, I believe that Luke was in the wrong for sharing it and Brat just did it because he's being malicious and because he has fallen out with Luke and he just wanted to get one up and this is where it's all stemmed from as well. So yeah, it's a shit situation, but take care, Ange, take care of one. Hey. Hey, Ange, I swear you can't do right for doing wrong on this app, like, you, <laughs> you got Luke on to see his side of the story and then people are complaining because you kept the fucking comments off. I'm sure if Chester was like feeling uncomfortable, like, you did ask him a number of times if he was all right, you know, why is people complaining because you didn't switch the comments off? <laughs> At the beginning of the conversation, Chester and Ange were speaking and Chester said, am I okay to invite people up to the box? And he said, yes. Yeah. She gave him the option to say no. He said, yes. 
Oh. He did keep on asking him if he was okay, and he kept on saying yes. And it was only till somebody else came in that defend, you know, was really defending him. That then he got upset and he had to come out. Like I'm I would understand. Like, if... Can I just say something? I'm really fucking bored of this conversation. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, it's not that fucking deep. I okay, know. you know what I mean? It, you know, even if he, you know, he okay, he told Alex. You know, it was public. Prince Brad, that is. Yeah, it, went pub- it was public and he told Alex and it's not that fucking deep, man. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? And I would understand if it was like a proper, like, deep secret where nobody knew about it, then fair I enough. Know, that he murdered awful. somebody or something like that or, you know, oh, something really cool. went on. You could. <laughs> it's a bit like, it's a bit like if I message Lynn. Oh, my God, like, essay's not deep. Who's talking about essay? Like, no, nothing about the essay. It's, man. it's, it's a bit like if I message Lynn, I signal, if I message Lynn's and say to Lynn's, oh, Lynn's, I've got some really bad piles, right? And then I say on chat, oh, guys, I've got piles. Oh, and sure. then Lynn's falls out and everyone says, oh, Donna's got piles on her ass and they're the size of grapes. <laughs> oh, look at these comments. Essa is not deep. Oh, oh no, is not deep. Don't you know, Alex, I never said it wasn't deep. There's a bunch of fucking snowflakes. Like she's not even seeing that. Like, oh my oh, life. Oh, wait, guys. Hey, Hello, Helen, my little <laughs> troll bumpkin. I hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't come oh, on TikTok mother. to spread your shit. <laughs> I do think ET is on the fact now. Salute though. Yeah. Can you anyway, let's change the subject. Can you yeah. put some purple hearts in here for my piles, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you got no other FYP end? Uh no, it's all about Luke and Chester. Oh, is that? Is it? There you go, and put it on for you. Cheer up, Freddy. Who's going to be come to an EQ tonight, then? Oh, no, I can't be asked. <laughs> what do you know? What the hell does come to mean? What's the other one? I said to Chester, if he wants to give me a call, I'll, I'll drop him my number tonight, you know, today. And he can call me any time, do you know what I mean? I'm sure he's got other people around him, though, anyway, do you know what I mean? You're not disbelieving, Anne, that he had essay. No, I do believe he went through that. Exactly. So you're not disbelieving that. That's got that's a separate issue. Thank you, Tina and Scooby, for my my appreciation oh, of my somebody style. called Stacey keeps spamming for the box. I don't know if she's got something Stacey. serious to say. Um, let me just put it in there. What is going on? Did you? Say, oh, okay, yeah. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, all I want to say is if Luke's no, done no wrong or anything, why is he asking vulnerable men to make up fake accounts that over EQ supposedly being a peddler? Right. Do you have evidence of this? EQ's just been on and off. Chester, why he was in your place? Did baby. Luke ask you to do it? And Chester said yes, would I never? Right. And do you have evidence? So of it? when Chester was in your, and you know, Chester's just been in yep. your box, mm-hmm. and EQ came in and said to him, "Was it Luke who asked you to do an account on here being the pedlo?" And Chester said yes. Okay. Yeah, EQ's just being on your live with Chester and said so because EQ yeah, said that, that, okay, that's but you no, don't understand that EQ's got a lot of beef with okay. Well, EQ's I'm, got a lot of beef with Lou. Well, so you don't know if she's being done. It's still no excuse to make up accounts on people being pedlos, is it? I question. I'll ask that question again. Do you have evidence of this? Yeah, I do. I've, I've screen recorded your live before oh, when so Chester was in the house. Are you okay, Stacey? Yes. So I'm very impressed. Okay, so you screen, I screen recorded, recorded what? Um, I screen recorded Chester in your box before, and you added EQ, yeah. and she oh, well, asked never Chester, was it Blue yeah. who asked you to do an account saying I was Pedler 
Do you think you're, you're not right, a, a you good again, person Stacey. now? Do you have evidence but, yet? But, but, it's not, but it's not. But Stacey, I was on also on Chester's live going back two years ago when he was on. He didn't say what had happened to him. He said he had problems. He was experiencing problems. So all this has stemmed from Luke running to Prince Brat and yapping about Chester's business. Whether Chester put it out there himself or not, that's his business to say whether he wanted and what he wanted to say. It wasn't down to Luke to message anybody else and say, well, Chester this and Chester that, and this has happened to Chester. If Prince Brat, Prince Brat has preached it, then fair enough, but it came from Luke. Oh, we've got a money gun. Who do you want to be dinged? Stay safe. Tracy? Yeah. I mean, like I said before, I don't know whether you heard me, you probably screenshot. Oh, I, thought EQ, be I thought EQ came on after everybody had gone out the box and asked Angie the question. I didn't think that oh, he was in the box. Yeah. It's all right, but she got on my nerves a bit. I'm sorry. She did. Uh, it, like, I don't think she was getting your point, though, Angie, because you were like, well, where's the evidence? I've yeah. got a screen recording of him saying it. But, like, I could come in this box now and say I'm a fucking millionaire. doesn't mean to say I'm a millionaire. There's no yeah. evidence. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, guys, so you heard uh, Chester's side, you heard Luke's side. So, um, yeah, who do you believe? So let's go. Uh, I've got a screen recording that Angie slept. She slept, said she slept with Jason Momoa, so it must be true. It's fact, guys. It's fact. <laughs> My the dirty dog, Angie. Sorry, Paul, just to say, just say, are you team uh, Luke? Yes or no? So, smiley's face. Uh, yes, you are team Luke after what you've heard. Uh, uh, sad face that you're not. Oh, another money gun, Angie. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Yes, you are team Luke. Sad face you're not. Oh, sad face you're not. Oh, there's quite a few sad faces in here. Oh, it's getting higher. Oh dear. <laughs> Can you turn your vibrator off, please? <laughs> oh. Sorry, I keep on getting a call. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie, that's what I expected from TikTok. It's a lot. Yeah. So the sad no, face is Team Chester, Ange. No, that's Team Luke. Uh, yeah, Team Chester, yeah. Well, yeah. it's not even Team Chester. It's just, do you support Luke or yes or no? It's more for Luke. Where's that music? Yeah? Where's that music coming from? Yeah. Oh, it's mine. Oh. <laughs> it's damaged, right? Six. Oh, 612. Oh, oh. oh, oh dear. I hope you, none of you get called for Dewey service. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we do it with a vote with a smiley face and a sad face then. Mm -hmm. What about <laughs> Team Zach? Because he's got a lot to say. What's this video I've got here? showcased on his own FYP page. He didn't address the fact that he sits up all night talking about numbers. So basically, if you actually look into what he's addressed, uh, it's no no defense, just deflection. There was no defense. There was no apologies. It was just Prince is this, Prince is that. Well, I'll ask you the same question everyone's asking me. If Prince is this, why was you my friend for a year? And the only reason is because uh, you could get something out of me. So when I say I was his friend and everyone's like, oh, well, why didn't you say, well, why didn't you, Luke? I'll flip the question back on you. Why didn't you, when you were begging to meet every single other week, begging to hang out, if I'm this terrible person? So I'll ask you the same question back. Okay, one second. The next thing is, I just want to, I'm not going to mention the mod's name because it's his own personal thing he said he doesn't care about being named to be honest but if he wants to talk in the chat he will this whole twisted thing is insane the truth is there was a younger boy again and i i, I put that in bold writing younger boy in our group who was getting a lot of gifts and attention 
off of one of our mods and he was so jealous about that so jealous because he couldn't get this younger boy's attention so the only way that he could divert that anger is by putting up a false narrative that this younger boy is using someone for gifts and is using him for gifts now both of these people know who it is they're talking about but both of these people know that i have never once manipulated any of them to for gifts and in fact i've told them both to not gift me they choose to okay i'm not going to make this a big thing but you know what you tried to do there, Luke. I know you did. I know you thought you did something there. But our lot know what you are. And you're forgetting. We have real friendships with these people off of TikTok. So unlike you, who gets your money in and slags them off five seconds later, we have real friendships. We go on holiday with our people, with our mods. We meet up with them. So half of them have been to my house. So that because what has that mod had to do with any of this talk about you? Nothing. But you tried to throw someone else in the mix so the spotlight could be off you. Yep. That person hasn't mentioned you. That yep. person hasn't spoken about you. That person oh. doesn't even go live. Go ahead. Talk, talk to them, Alex. Tell and you decided to throw it out on that person. You can say in the chat who you are because you was upset that you wasn't getting the same amount of gifts that a younger boy was getting and you couldn't understand that he could just sit there and do nothing and get those gifts and you have to run a whole FYP show. Yep. And that's the truth. Facts. And you know, that he brought up the whole, um, the whole gay baiting argument. The whole gay baiting argument because our friend that was receiving the gifts is straight. That was the question I was going to ask. Was that was the question I was going to ask, Luke. What's gay baiting? It's not. And Luke, for some reason, he, he, this is exactly what happened, right? Regardless of why the gifts were being sent, it was the per, it was the gifter's choice to send the gift to be getting. What is gay baiting? Gay baiting is a straight guy pretending to be gay to get uh, gifts off of straight guys by pretending. Oh, he must have heard me. To be. I digress. Luke, you blocked him. You blocked him, and then two days after you blocked him, you went into his live and started gifting him without a conversation to be had. And then you took the guy that was gifting him all of those gifts and made him your moderator. And you did all of that in a four-day period. You blocked, unblocked, gifted, and modded. It, yeah, like, okay. Got it. And right. the difference is, can I say, I had a conversation with both of these people involved because I'm not fake, unlike you. And so did Cowboy. So whatever personal conversations we had with them, we had it to their face. You had no relationship with Mod or the young boy. Man, I should say. Young man, sorry. You had no relationship with them. You had no friendship with them. The only factor that was bothering you was gifts. That's it. Because you had no loyalty to any of them, so you had no concern for any of them. And if you did, you would have given them a call and spoken to them. But you was upset about the fact that you so badly wanted this person's attention. I personally think you fancied him, yep. truthfully, yep. to the point where you watched him on your fake account, the FYP watcher, when you was on the phone to me and trolled him and begged me not to tell him, which I wish I did. You were that obsessed with him, and he doesn't even do streams, FYPs, like nothing. You was obsessed with one young boy and the fact that you couldn't understand why he was getting gifts of a friend. So, I would like the better, if you like to. If you've ever felt manipulated by me or felt like I didn't take your situation in, in comfortably, you can let me know in the chat. But the truth is, everyone knows that that's not the truth, Luke. And to be fair, right now, as we're sitting here talking about this, nobody is talking about Luke's sexuality. No one. No one. Not me, not Alex, not no one. So if that's how you're seeing this, stick to it because I see you, you need to get off of it for real. Nobody's talking about that. We're talking about the reasons why he might have been doing it. And when I say that he blocked, unblocked, gifted, and modded. Manipulation. Yeah. You guys, y'all have to be able to see through that. Seriously. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, who's in the box? Hey, make it make sense. Hi, I was, I'm actually there live, you know, right now talking about you guys and stuff, but like them talking about, it's like so annoying me. Uh, cause when I was talking to Alex and stuff like that, 
uh, he can't talk about anybody. Like, I have messages from him always being like, don't, don't show cowboy, don't post this, don't post that. Um, cause he always wanted to like control the whole thing. Like I posted things anyway, but he'd always ask me not to. And then they're sitting here saying, um, that, uh, that you didn't ask Luke any questions, this or that. Like, I don't understand that because when he first came out and he was in Pearl's live, remember how he just ran away and didn't show proof of anything. But at least Luke sat here in a box and talked about it. Yeah. Like he hasn't talked to anybody. He said this morning, you know, he didn't want to come in your live because he can't control it. So he's only gone on people's lives that he knows for sure is on his side and he is not going to be questioned in any way. But like, it's not all right. He he's like guilty of the same stuff. Like I've seen it. Other people have seen it. It's just annoying that this is just on purpose, like just to hurt somebody. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Yeah. And like, and then Chester is in the middle. Like he didn't deserve any of that. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Uh, hi, Nana Pepper. Hey, you're right, lovely. Oh, oh my god, are you not bored with this already? Yeah, I'm a little bit bored with it, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little bit boring. No, let Laura listen. Your platform is like amazing as it is. You sit there, you have a giggle, you go on, you talk with people, you do what you do. But all this is just drag and shit down. It's pathetic, man. They're all adults. They need to just sort their own shit out. No one, no one can cancel anyone off the set. No, 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 I'm not on about cancelling. I'm just saying there's, there's things that need to be on the app and things that don't. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. But well, hopefully, like I said, Luke will come back, you know, maybe he needs a couple of weeks off. Um, hopefully, we'll come back and do the FYP. Cause it's well, only God's a judge. Simple matter. There's nobody else who's going to be judging nobody. Do you know what I mean? You can either look at yourself in the mirror and know that you've been all right. Do you know what I mean? You can only judge yourself in it. So, anyway, kick me out. I just wanted right, to say I love you. Man. Thank you. But guys, I'm not going to let anyone in because I'm going to shut this down after these boxes because I'm just too bored with the conversation now. You can um, see it on your face. <laughs> Go on. Hiya, Nicola. Nicola, you there? Uh, Papa, uh, nanny, nanny, Papa, hello. Pepper, Papa, whatever. No, okay, bye bye. Is that it? Has everyone spoken? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sitting here platting snot because that's more enjoyable than this whole conversation. And Lioness wants to know about your flirting with AR last night. In mine, yeah, it was, it was funny and it was. <laughs> oh, I loved it. Did you mean it? Hmm? Yeah. Did you I mean your flirty bit? I oh, did you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, we have all the flirting. I'm going to come off now because I'm just really bored of this conversation we've had. So anyway, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah. Have a good day, Anne. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. See you later. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.